checking in right now and I am back home and since I've been back home I've been able to get some content out if you're not already following me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube <laughs> please 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 check out my socials down below so we can connect more so yeah let's get to it my skin. My skin and I can sometimes have a problematic relationship in that sometimes I really just am hard on myself for having acne. Even though I'm vegan and I try to exercise as much as I can, I still have acne. So while I sometimes try to battle my skin, I do really like to take the time to nourish it. It is Monday afternoon and I just finished eating a delectable lunch. I had a wheat bread with some nuts and seeds in it, and I used some spring mix, some tomatoes, some onions, a pepper, some avocado, as well as some vegan mayo and a Thai peanut style sauce. I also ate that with a tomato basil soup and I added a couple of seasonings in it. And I actually added a little bit of sesame oil into the soup. I felt like it was missing something and the sesame oil just like took it over the top. It was really, really good. I ate and watched the first episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and it's not too bad. I have heard a lot of people talk about it and I just never really was interested in it. But this past weekend I was like, you know what? I want to give it a try. So I'm going to give it an honest try and see if I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and do some laundry. Watch the rest of episode one. If you guys have any recommendations for anime, let me know down below. I am outside in my backyard hammocking and I'm about to read. It feels really nice to be outside. I got quite a, quite a good amount of stuff done. I got all my content posts done, uh, laundry done. I'm almost done with all of the stuff I have for Patreon. I'm going to be going on live stream later today to um, do a weekly reading. That's one of the perks of being a part of the Divine Patreon family. We get weekly tarot and oracle readings for advice, um, anything spirit has to say, just for you to be on your best shit for the week. Got my, <laughs> my water here, I'm just gonna keep on vibing <laughs> despite this dirty, like what? <sighs> Today is Tuesday, and we are almost done with August. Today is August 31st, and um, I have a couple of things to do today. I have a video to come out today, a recipe video. I will link that up above. A mm. couple of content things. Um, maybe a 
chill day. I have challenged myself to try to um, exercise more each day. So I'm going to try to see if I can do a walk. Other than that, it's going to be a pretty uh, chill day. So it would appear we have a special visitor with us today. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Somebody's upset. Somebody wants to go on a walk, but I can't take you. I put on my backpack and he's just like, it's time to go. No. Bye. <laughs> I just showered and I felt so good because I was so hot. Um, my watch recorded that we walked for two, almost two miles, 1.7 miles um, before coming into the car. So I'm just gonna do my face routine now. I'm just spraying some toner. And I have this new natural skincare. Uh, the brand is called Olive. And it's their moisturizing day cream. It looks really cool. Like that has a cap because I don't want the top to get dirty. Yeah. This is what it looks like. Hmm. And this moisturizing day cream has cherry, star flower, and everlasting. Oh my god, it smells so good. Ooh. And I'll go ahead and leave the link down below because ooh, this feels really good and it smells really good. So I know it's Tuesday, but normally on Mondays, I like to have what I call money Mondays. These are days that I like to really just take some time to get my relationship with money healthier and on a more clear path. I, like most people, do not have the best relationship with money. There are some people whose relationship with money is that they were taught it was evil, so they were taught not to ask for it. Some people were taught that to be spiritual, you must release everything. I have always really liked nice things. I like luxury. And because people around me were telling me that that was bad, I grew up confused at times. And people like to call Tauruses like money hungry or gold diggers or whatever. I have literally had my siblings call me a chapeadora, which is like Dominican slang for like <laughs> gold digger. A lot of people's relationship with money needs to be healed and it is because money is energy and we can make change with money and we can support people with money. We can also be harming ourselves with what we buy, what we consume. So I like to try to have time every Monday to try to repair my relationship with money, especially when I want to be a successful entrepreneur, a successful business owner. I need to have a better relationship with money and I need to have a handle on it to be able to create the stability that I want. So that aside, even though it is Tuesday, um, me and my boyfriend didn't get a chance to do our Money Mondays yesterday. So earlier we read a little bit of Three Feet from Gold, which is a really good book. If you guys have any other um, good books about uh, being an entrepreneur, a small business, or um, just anything with like repairing your relationship with money, having better money habits, all that stuff, please let me know. But we read Three Feet from Gold, and then we just chilled out a little bit. We talked a little bit. Oh, that's another part of Money Mondays is I like to take time to either journal or speak out loud something that is on my mind regarding money. And I was speaking about how I have to pay off my yoga teacher training. $3,000 tuition, and at this point, I believe I have 2000 to pay, which is a lot of money when you're a small business and you don't have... Uh, large amounts of steady income coming in. 
but I wanted to take a chance on myself. So I was expressing my frustration with, you know, having feelings of being unworthy of being a successful business owner of feeling like, am I just not doing enough? Am I just not enough? Like, what am I doing? What's missing? What am I not doing in my life that's bringing me the abundance that I want? Because I want to be able to sustain myself and to thrive from the money that I make by being a business owner because I want to be able to help people and I want to be able to live a beautiful life and do that too. So I had cried a little bit. I um, let it off my chest, what was just in my head and just trying to feel a little bit more free. So now it's time for me to make some lunch because I'm getting hungry and we have um, some stuff to meal prep. So I'll take y'all with me. everyone today is thursday and it seems the storm has passed us which i'm very grateful for last night i got an order off of my poshmark store and someone bought uh one of the bags on the shop this is really pretty leather bag from banana republic and i have truly enjoyed it for the past couple of years however your girl has financial responsibilities and um as a result, I wanted to save some more money um, by selling off possessions that I no longer use to get more money for van life or traveling to different countries, whatever happens. So I'm really happy that someone bought something. Hi. I'm very grateful that someone bought something. If you guys want to check out all the clothes and shoes, I have lots and lots of high quality heels that are new or next to new on the Poshmark store poshmark store i will go ahead and leave the link down below all right so it is thursday i have here an amazon package which i'm about to open for y'all Ooh, an unboxing Ooh, i love this quarrel no i'm just tired i didn't ask for part two so i have bought a wick cutter now when i make my candles i have a super sharp camping scissors pair of scissors that's really small so it gets in places but i saw this on somebody else's video and i just thought it was so cute and it's a really gorgeous rose gold color awesome so then i can use this to cut off the wicks when i am finished making my own candles i will go ahead and leave the link to this down below there's no escaping that it's your destiny to die by my hand since it is destiny let's begin this i'd like to see what the hand of god is all about gladly i don't know what this is but it keeps going on when i um load the page grand rising everybody i'm here in front of the window just soaking up some sun I've just gone ahead and done some yoga and meditation, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit. 
like to have this house uh, cleansed and do a protection spell. And so I do want the house to be as clean as possible. I was planning to do a sun salutations class. However, yesterday while I was walking to my boyfriend's house, I hurt my foot. So I've decided to continue to have class, but I'm gonna be doing a gentler practice, maybe something not as long. I still wanna go ahead and uh, give yoga to the people. Yeah, other than that, I think it's gonna be a pretty chill day. Bye. <laughs>